But as Muslims, we believe in something that's so strong. And this is a, a wonderful verse of the Quran, which says that they plan and we plan, but Allah or God is the best of planners. And that is what this year has really taught me. The World Health Organization has published advice for Ramadan. Social distancing and COVID-19. Scenes from the holiest sites in Islam. The mosques are already closed. Under a coronavirus. Nationwide KP lockdown. Most have issued orders against the Congregation. Cannot proceed. Gatherings are happening online. The community attack. Still ready to I am Muhammad Shafi. Musa Ali. Muhammad Abbas. My name is Khalifa. My name is Hadi. I am Muhammad Nafi. Azir. My name is Abdullah. No man. Ali Sadiqi. Ahmed. Nazir Jamal. Islam. My name is Rahman Zubair. I am Nawaz. Imam Ali. Muhammad Jamal. And I am from Pakistan. From the United Kingdom. I am in Medina. Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm in Malaysia. Jakarta. I'm from Egypt. Cairo. Egypt. I'm from Canada. Johannesburg. South Africa. I'm from India. And I'm from Medina. I'm from China. And this is my story. 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 Our story. I was there. I was there for professionalism, bro. Yes, yes. I know you're impressed right now. I hope you're sitting down because yeah. All right, next line. So it's just about four o'clock in the morning right now, and I'm awake uh, for the morning food. And it's part of the Sunnah, the way of the Prophet peace be upon him, um, that he'd have a, a meal before the fast. Uh, oh gosh, that's that's my wife in the kitchen. So <laughs> uh, she she does a lot in the morning. It's 4.20ish um, or 4.30ish and uh, it's Suhoor or Sehri. I don't know where the word Sehri came from, but it's the last meal that we have before the sun starts to rise. Because there is so many different religions that have a form of fasting in them, when you tell people that you're fasting and you don't eat or drink, sometimes they could confuse that you don't drink or eat for 30 days straight. Can you imagine that? So we can't eat or drink anything during the day. But we can at night. Dope explanation, bro. We have uh, short winter days, and a little bit is kind of okay, but where people have longer fasts, that's where whatever you have here becomes really important. A serving is prepared by me and my colleague and uh, it gives us limited time but it's like an exam situation where in exam it's like usually everybody's writing the exam and they say pens down but he has like spoons and forks down hands down cups down and move the plate back and that's it can't eat anymore so for my seri i normally have around four eggs and six slices of bread trust me it tastes amazing and it's nutrient packed makes you survive the whole day For some people, this time hasn't really changed. So my routine in Ramadan used to be where I'd wake up in the morning for Seri. After Seri, I'd read some Quran. So my routine now in this pandemic is I usually sleep a bit late. Wake up for Seri. Uh, after after Seri, I'd read some Quran. But for others, the changes of 2020 start here. We do have like places to go for. Uh, those places is like uh, mandatory for the people to go outside to take the suhoor there. Like for me, at least 10 times a month, every Ramadan, I have to go there with my friends. <laughs> I 
السحور ويمكن ان نتسحر برا ونصلي الفجر برا في المسجد there is a, there is a word that we did they called it here in Egypt Ramadan nights but we lost it this year we missed but everyone has the same kind of ending to this part of the day we read salam and then we go to sleep so from this moment i will go to sleep <laughs> this is the good way to start ramadan although some have found an avenue of exploration in the world's silence nowadays right after sahur i've made a routine to walk up to the highest ground i can find and capture the beautiful sunrise this has helped me to keenly observe the situation that the world has landed into in the world has landed in a very different situation The government has strict rules about uh, to go out and uh, there is a lockdown. Nobody is allowed to be with more than three people. I think luckily in South Africa we were in lockdown before all that. In South Africa we are currently in lockdown stage 4. In level 4 we are still not allowed to visit our family, our friends, our loved ones. and only essential travel is allowed بدات الحكومه في اغلاق المحافظه والاماكن المزدحمه most of places are closed including mosque and haram the mosques outside is totally closed all the mosques have been on the lockdown for many weeks now although every country has taken a different approach life for everyone almost everywhere is completely changed as the day passes There's things from a year back, maybe a few years back. Just little random interactions with people that who we remember the most. I went in a hostel. Though the faculty was non-Muslim, they respected the month of Ramadan. They gave extra privilege to the students who were fasting. Like uh, the teachers don't used to bother us. Even that most rude teacher who always used to say that oh Shafi, you like to sleep too much. don't sleep in class well in ramadan i slept in his class and he didn't say anything what every public space is a reminder of these changes and every part of our personal lives too our schools and our universities and our places of work and business are closed or the and the, the amount of work they could give you at home is a lot less عاده في شهر رمضان نحن في فتره الامتحان نطلع على الكتب ونذاكر مع بعضنا lockdown is very hard because because we have to stay at home we have to find ways in which we can keep occupied it is a fact but <laughs> <laughs> Almost everything has changed as compared to the last 2 years. We need to do anything to our limits to help. From around 250 of us doing Ramadan together, we are only left with 35. Okay. I reside in the masjid because once we are outside it is hard for us to come back in also the whole environment of being with other people or interacting with other other people is no more seen more is wali la 
I personally miss the the kids a lot. Usually now teaching online, it means they have restricted time, so they only get to speak to me for about uh, 10 minutes maximum. We connect now much more on our phone. The time that we spend on our phones so much more than what we would normally do. Now everyone, our friends, our family, they all just live in this one pane of glass. And that's all we connect to. That's our only link we have to a lot of people. We try to contact with each other, but uh, really it's not, uh, it's not that easy, but uh, it's not like how we used to it. The body is at home. We now pray alone, eat alone, do everything alone. All the people around the world are now family members only. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا Being alone and at home in Ramadan has brought us a sense of more meaningful connection too With less of a rush The positive thing is we have more time to read Quran We have more time to do other things which we would normally spend in driving and visiting people and speaking to people. So this whole day spent by a person is Mumalaka Itikaf. I keep reading the, the Holy Quran from my phone. So I've been structuring my day around Salah instead of trying to jack my Salah. Praying in complete tranquility has given me a much more deeper connection with the Almighty. time to read Quran, to pray Salah, to read books out of the syllabus. Now I'm taking a little more time reading some extra Quran at those times. This year I got the chance to read the Quran more than any year before because there is a lot of message in the Holy Quran. Not only a connection with our Creator, but with His creation. Ramadan this year actually make you just know your family. <laughs> I have more time to speak with my family. I do have friends in my home more than the friends that's outside. We feel like we are in, in, in harmony. Like we play jokes, like the jokes that I used to play with my friends outside. <laughs> If I do have time, later on, and uh, I, I will not go outside with my friends or I will not travel outside, but I would prefer to stay at home to spend this time with uh, my family and my sisters. Yes, welcome home. <laughs> and in some cases, a connection with ourselves. A wise man says that if a person wants to know who he really is, he should stay alone.